Spring weather means spring cleaning and it can feel like a big job, but there's no reason to be overwhelmed if you take it one step at a time. Shannon Smith talked to the experts at Help You Dwell in Knoxville about how you can spring clean like a pro this year. Karen, what is it about spring that makes people want to clean their houses? That's a great question. Um, I think we see all these colors popping up. I think we we feel that warm breeze, see the sunshine and think I want my inside of my space to feel as good as things feel outside. So how do you how do you start? Because, you know, I look at my apartment and I'm like, I, I don't know where to begin. <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, we've all been inside for much longer than we would like to admit at this point, even um, through last year, our crazy year. And um, it is, it's easy to see like these little piles that have kind of taken over. And so I love to help encourage folks to start somewhere they feel like they can finish, you know? So it's not like, let's organize your house, but like, let's pick some areas that are contained and you can get in, you know, do the hard work, but then like close the door and be able to say that space is finished. We all have a refrigerator and a freezer. So, you know, it's not the like most satisfying to do because the doors are closed all the time, but it's a great space, especially as we look into those seasonal changes as you know, produce starts to become available and creating this clean palette in our fridge and our freezer um, at the beginning of the, the new season is a great satisfying space to start. Another one, linen closets. We just let these things pile up and what can happen in the linen closet is items we're not pulling out to clean on the regular, like towels or older sheets, they can end up creating this musty smell in our closet. So the things we are cleaning and putting in there are like taking on this. And so then you've got nothing fresh really. So doing a whole, pull it all out. Um, animal shelters is a great place to donate um, linens that you no longer need because they need them all the time. Another place that we could clean out is our closet because, you know, we got to get those coats away, make some room. How do we go about organizing that? Totally. Yeah. So season changes is a great time to tidy up that closet. Um, you know, this year will be a little different. I often will tell folks, did you wear this last season? I said, you know, this is the time to think about it. But of course, so many of us didn't get to wear what we would have wanted to wear last season because we weren't going anywhere. So there's a little grace this year to hold on to some things that you hope to wear. But as you bring those winter things out, double check, does it still fit? Do I like this color? Does this have holes in it? And this is the time to make those decisions and don't store those things. So go ahead and find a home for them elsewhere. And then as you bring in the spring, if you've got the time, be kind to your future self and try that stuff on and make sure it is what you want for this year. Um, so that again, you can enjoy when you walk into your closet, it's categorized, you can color code if you like, and you feel a bit good about what you're wearing and um, it, it kind of matches what it feels like outside by having these clothes in here that are inspiring to you and you look forward to wearing. Now that we have all this stuff cleared out, how do you keep it clean? When I have items out that I love, it is, I want to protect them and care for them much more. And so that allows me to keep things more clean as opposed to like, it's if areas are jumped up or just have extra things, I will just ignore them. And so it's amazing how inspiring it can be to keep those areas that way once you put the time in to get to that space. Having the stuff around you that you love inspires you so much more to keep it clean. Well, Karen, thank you for those tips. Again, that's Karen McLean and help you dwell with us here today. I'm inspired to go clean. Uh, hopefully the people watching this are too. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Have a great day.